Oh man, I like my shot. I like my shot now. Yesterday, I was at the point of like, Fuck this. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I started going to the gym the other day. Now my body is evaporating. I can't even feel it, but we're back at the range. We gotta hit a couple balls here. Uh, and see how it kind of goes. Yesterday, with Mike, I learned pretty much how to hit a driver for the first time, which is mind blowing. And we changed our entire swing, more or less on the follow through on irons um, and all the clubs. So we're gonna test it out, see how I hit today. Yeah, sit back and relax. <laughs> Simple routine today, we're gonna to hit the 60 degree, 56 degree, a couple irons, 987. And then Mike said just always kind of end at least hitting the driver, getting used to it with this new technique and new setup that he kind of told me. Not new, I'm just bad at it. So I was doing the incorrect way. So we'll do like 15, 20 of those, get the feel for it, and then go back to 60 degrees. So yeah, let's get into it. really got to learn how to do the the twirl that everyone does. I got to look cool out here even though I suck, you know. Got the outfits ready. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, a little off balance. I was looking at the tape of my first range session and it was so bad. A couple more days in, feel a little good, feel a little good. Test all this out at the, at the course in a couple days, so let's go. <laughs> Biggest game changer in my swing right now is like keeping balance and having like a, a athletic stance, not moving this all the way back and like straightening this out. I'm just keeping it uh, steady. And then when, when I turn, I'm really focusing on hitting down rather than trying to like scoop it up. And then literally I'm rotating the hell out of this knee um, so that I could connect my right to my left. What I was doing a couple days ago, I was shifting like this. I was kind of like hitting it like that. No bueno. Let's go to 56 degree. a little. Oh man, I like my shot. I like my shot now. Yesterday, I was at the point of like, this, it's over, I can't, I can't get, get a goal. Like, I was at the course uh, range for like three hours and I was like, oh my God, my shot sucks. Last hour, I just had an epiphany. I was like, all right, what if I just did this crazy thing? And I just shot like well for an hour and I was like, I love this sport, I love it. <laughs> Never give up on your hopes and dreams, kids. Let's go to 9 iron. 90. Oh shit. Oh my god, that was maybe my best shot. Alright, one thing I realized really well for all of you who have like massive death grips, when I drop my grip to like a 3 or 2, and hit it, I hit the most, the purest and like the farthest shot. So I'm constantly trying to be cognizant about, <laughs> trying to constantly be cognizant about like how I'm holding it, feeling like the club head when I'm kind of swinging because when I'm kind of just like super stiff, it's, probably, it's the most inconsistent shot. Jesus Christ, just a couple more shots with this.
good job. Oh, bad balance. So I realized two things. One, I have to basically push and tug this left side of my hip back and rotate, or I'm always gonna hit right. Two, Rihanna's performance in the Super Bowl was pretty good. <laughs> All right. this new thing where I'm trying to kind of look like Colin Marikawa when he goes in and I'm like more or less almost like pretty much horizontal my back though bro back is broken what oh ah, up my finger daddy now self driver let's see what we got all right a couple key things that my coach told me how to hit a driver are this one is essentially we want to be this this foot more, more or less in line good amount of uh, space in between here about 10 inches from the ball your head directly in the middle and then lastly when you're at setup the face of the club has to be relatively kind of like open in the sense like this and then bring it back and uh, you wanna get ahead of it, but also finish into like a circular motion. Okay, so that is happening because I'm kind of coming out like this instead of like this and finishing like that. All right, so again, going to the right. Got to finish our fall through. Hopefully I didn't kill anybody. This is a murder weapon. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh. But that felt really good because I rotated entirely all the way and don't be afraid to rotate because the rotation supposedly will bring it left lack of rotation right where'd he go <laughs> pro tip I, I don't know why I said that, I'm not a pro, but don't be afraid not to leave your range balls. Like if you had a good session, feel good about it. Don't like over exhaust, get bad reps because garbage in, garbage out. Holy. Ah! Oh my God. Things are connected. Am I? Just one day, one day, bro, let's go. In the bag. Okay, I overreacted. I overreacted. I thought I was, I thought I was a pro. I thought all you need is a one hour of instruction to get good at the driver. Ah. All right, one more. Oh no. Okay, so again, I didn't rotate fully, and I didn't. I was, I was like this, rather than. Rotating. Let's see, bang. <laughs> bang, bang! Bang, bang! All right, we got one more in us. Oh! 
on my back. Oh, a little to the right. Ice in my veins, D'Angelo Russell. For anyone watching this channel, if you're a Laker fan, definitely leave a comment, man. I'm a diehard Laker fan, and it's been a whirlwind. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, uh, my prophecy is, if you wanna be a really good NBA player, first go to the Lakers, get LeBron to trade you, and then come back or whatever. You know, like you got Julius Randle, Lonzo Ball, uh, even Caruso, man. Like everyone's so good when they leave the Lakers back to the 60 and the end session on a good day. We'll just try to hit a couple of these targets. Let's hit the red flag right in front of us. Okay, about, about five feet off. So we need a little more juice. Oh. 20 feet off. About 15 feet off. Oh, a little overshot, but oh, why did I? <laughs> I don't know why I did a full swing again. So we gotta do one more. <laughs> there we go. Boom, boom. Ah, five feet off. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the range session. If you enjoyed it, definitely leave a like. But hopefully you guys can subscribe. We have a lot of good content coming our way on this channel. Like I said, we're trying to get the scratch by all means necessary. And tomorrow we're going to be meeting with one of the top physical therapists and trainers here in San Diego to get my body right. And I think there's going to be a lot of things that's going to be beneficial for everyone out there, especially since I'm pretty much broke in every single part of this body. It's fragile, so you'll probably relate. But that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.